Hi, Miss Wright. Our science topic for the next two weeks is going to be animals. So I want to see how much we can learn about animals in two weeks. To start off, I'm going to show you guys how to find some books on Myon. So if you can get to the Myon website and log in, then I'll show you how you can find some books. And then you can knock out your reading and your science all at one time. So, I've logged into my sons so that you can see this is kind of what your screen will look like when you first log in. And you can go up here and you can click on library. And it will show you books that they recommend for you. You can browse through different topics of books. You can make a list of your favorite books. And then you can search for books if you're searching for a certain type of book. Well, when I went to the browse button, look at all these different topics that come up. And one of them just happens to be animals, which is what we're learning about. So when you click on that topic, it gives you a bunch of different kinds of animals books to look at. So, um... You can click and look through here. You can learn about baby animals. You can learn about sea animals. You can learn all about different animals. Some of the animal books in here are fictional. That means, and then some of the animal books in here are nonfiction. That means that everything in them is true. So you have to kind of look at the book and look at the pictures to decide what you think, whether they're fictional or nonfiction. So I found a book in here earlier that I thought looked pretty fun to read to you guys. So I'm going to go back up to the top and type it in the search bar and see if I can find the one that I found earlier. Hmm. Let's see. We're getting close. Did I miss it? I think I might have. It disappeared. Let's try a different search. Sometimes it doesn't come right up. Let's try this one. That's the one I was looking for. So when you click on the book that you want, it can give you more information about it. It can read it. You can add it to your favorites, or you can take a quiz, see how you do after you're finished reading it. So I'm going to click on Read Story. Now, um, if you guys are reading it, you might want to have it read it to you, but I am just going to read this one all by myself. If you click down here on the play button, it'll play it for you. So let's try that out. Whose nose is this? A look at beaks, snouts, and trunks. Written by Peg Hall. Illustrated by Ken Landmark. Pretty neat, huh? All right, well, I'm going to read this book to you. So this book is called Whose Nose Is This? And it looks pretty fun because you can 
Look through and see if you can figure out what animal these noses might belong to. Are you nosy about noses? Look carefully at an animal's nose and it will tell you many things. Noses tell you how an animal eats or how it cools off in the heat. A nose might pick up food or dig in the mud. Some noses close up tight and other noses poke into small places. Most noses have nostrils for breathing and smelling, but noses don't all look alike because they don't all work alike. Let's get to know noses. Whose nose is this? Reaching for a leafy lunch. What do you guys think? I think that's a pretty easy one. I bet you're right. It's an elephant trunk. Is that what you guessed? This elephant sucks up water with its long tr trunk. Whoosh! It squirts the water into its mouth or down its back. Fun fact, an elephant trunk works like a powerful arm. It even has nubs at the tip that works like fingers. The elephant can use its nose to pick fruit from a tree. All right, let's take a look at this next picture. Whose nose is this hammering at a tree? What do you guys think? Let's take a look. It's a woodpecker's beak. Is that what you guessed? The woodpecker hunts for insects that live inside a tree. Tap, tap, tap. The woodpecker uses its beak to drill a hole in the tree, then gobbles up its dinner. Fun fact. A beak is both a bird's nose and its mouth. A woodpecker eats with its beak and it also breathes through two tiny nostrils at the base of the beak. Like most birds, woodpe woodpeckers have a very poor sense of smell. Hmm. Whose nose is this stirring up the mud? Ooh, that one looks a little bit harder. Let's see what it could be. It's a platypus bill. I would not have guessed that one. The platypus closes up its eyes and ears and sticks its head into a river. The platypus uses its bill to feel for food along the muddy bottom. The tender bill can feel very small things. Fun fact, a platypus's bill feels I can't read it. I'm covering it up. It bends a little as it digs in the mud. Ooh, it digs in the mud. Whose nose is this closed up tight? Ooh, that one's kind of a tricky one too. What do you think? It's a camel snout. A camel snout has, an, has amazing nostrils. The soft lining inside them helps to warm or cool the desert air. The long, thin nostrils can shut tight to keep out blowing sand. Fun fact, a camel's nose can smell water from miles away. That's handy for an animal that lives in the dry desert. Whose nose is this sniffing in the air? Ooh, I think I see a clue. What are those little things going up the hill? They're ants. What could that be? Hmm. It's an anteater snout. The anteater sniffs around a pile of dirt. If the anteater smells ants or termites inside, it rips the mound open with its claws. Fun fact, an anteater has a terrific sense of smell. Its nose can smell 40 times better than the average human's nose. Whose nose is this hanging down so low? Ooh, that's a tricky one. Let's find out. It's an elephant seal snout. The male elephant seal takes deep breaths. Its long snout fills up with air like a balloon. Then the air rushes out. It makes a loud noise. Fun fact, male elephant seals makes noises with their nose to tell the other male seals things. 
Whose nose is this poking up out of the water? What do you think? <clears throat> this is a hippopotamus's snout. A hippopotamus slips underwater to keep cool in the heat. The hippo leaves its nostril sticking out into the air so that it can breathe. Fun fact, sometimes water gets inside the hippo's nose. The hippo blows the water out with a big gust of breath. The noise can be heard for miles. Whose nose is this? Sniffing a flower. Hmm. This is your nose. Your nose has tiny hairs inside it. These hairs catch dirt and even tiny bugs so you won't breathe them in. Your nose smells your food just like the anteater's nose. Your nose warms or cools, cools the air as you breathe just like a camel's snout. You can't close your nostrils like a camel, but you can hold your breath for a little while. Why don't you try? Can you hold your breath? <gasps> Not too long, though. <laughs> Make sure you breathe in. Fun fact, your nose helps you taste your food. If you hold your nose shut while you're eating, it won't taste the same. So if you're trying something that you don't really like and you pinch your nose, that will take away some of the taste because it help, your nose helps your tongue taste. Pretty cool, huh? Just for fun, whose nose does what? Let's see if you can answer some questions. Point to the picture of the animal described in each sentence. So we have our animals over here on the side. We have our elephant, our elephant seal, the woodpecker, the camel, and you. Let's see which one of these sentences goes with which one. You point to the picture. My nose closes up to keep out the blowing sand. Hmm, which animal lives somewhere where there's sand blowing? Did you guess it? Yeah, the camel. All right, next one. My nose works like a hose for taking a bath. Hmm, I think that's a pretty easy one. Did you guess it right, the elephant? All right, next one. My nose fills with air and makes a loud noise. Hmm, which one fills with air and makes a loud noise? That's a tricky one. I think it's the elephant seal. All right, the next one. My nose catches bugs and dust. Ooh, which one was that? Yeah, it's the human nose, our noses. Keeps that stuff out of there. And the last one, my nose drills holes in trees. I don't think that's my nose, is it? No, <laughs> it's the woodpecker nose. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. There's lots of other stories like this if you check out my on. So if you have any problems logging in, let me know because that's a fun place to find some good animal stories. I hope you guys enjoy learning lots about different animals. Make sure you let me know what you learned. Bye, guys.